Hello and welcome to another episode of Genuine Healing Down Under with your hosts, me, Marvin Schneider. And me, Jen Ward. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Jen. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for everyone who is watching us on the live stream. This is live stream number two of our daily rejuvenation series. Hopefully you're getting benefit from it. I feel the benefit of it. As soon as we start to plug in live, I feel this joy. It's it's almost like going to a festival and knowing everyone is enjoying themselves as well. There's a mm. joy in being plugged into the collective, even if people don't realize it yet. Mm. The topic area of today's daily rejuvenation on the live stream is weapons of mass deception, mm -hmm. <laughs> which, is, which is a really interesting sort of take on the usual rhetoric of weapons of mass destruction. So, yeah, it's genius on a few levels because we've taken the vibration of that buzzword that was really invested in to, to move people to fear, and now we're using the same vibration, upgrading it, and moving people to love and empowerment through that vibration. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's particularly relevant in this day and age because there is so much noise out there on social media. And, you know, for those that are operating in higher consciousness and, and seeking to live a life in higher consciousness, it's really difficult to kind of work out what's real, what's not. So um, uh, I think the the timing of this couldn't be better, to be honest. Well, the beauty of the taps and the, how, the way they're worded is society has pitted them against us. It's just how it maintains its status quo. And what we're doing here is we're taking out the visceral. Is that the right word? Visceral? Not sure. Um, vitriol, vitriol, vitriol. Maybe is... yeah, right. Okay. So we're taking out the vitriol of what people get behind. They don't have to decide who's a bad guy, who's a good guy, them versus us. It's raising them to a higher vantage point where they're just dealing with the issues and they don't have to figure it all out with the conscious mind because that's the upgrade. Well, the point is that you really can't figure it out with a conscious mind because, to be honest, the conscious mind is so limited relative to the omniscience of the higher self. But that's how you can tell that people are still asleep. If they haven't figured out yet that you can't figure it out, then they're still trapped in primal mode on some level or in some subtle way, right? Right. So one of the cool things about all of the tapping that we do in the daily rejuvenation series and in the group tappings is we are addressing fundamental issues uh, outside of the mind and you really don't have to figure it out. All you need to do is do the taps and you don't even need to draw the nexus between the taps that I'm doing right now and, you know, the outcome just do the taps, relax into it, and observe the shifts in its own time. And it's fun when you can see these shifts, not only in yourself, but in, in aspects of, um, of society. It's subtle at first, but when you know what to look for, it's really beautiful when you see someone shift from one vantage point of hate to more of accepting and love. Hmm. Let me bring into our studio uh, some very special people. Um, hi, everyone. These are the people that are in the studio with us, are part of the Genuine Healing community. Um, we interact regularly, and a good chunk of these people are also part of our Writers Forum for those that are keep an eye on the Genuine Healing website. We've got a lot of very relevant, punchy articles, blog articles, uh, written by uh, a collection of a good part of these people, um, which is hey, pretty cool. Babies, you keep saying people like that and you bring up this song. 
who are the people in your neighborhood? <laughs> in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Oh, it's dear. a very important song. Mr. It Rogers. Is a song. He's oh, one of my okay. heroes. I remember that as on Sesame Street. Maybe Sesame Street pinched it. Well, Mr. Rogers was on right after Sesame Street, and I wouldn't blame you as a disinterested father in just watching and not knowing when Sesame Street bleeds into Mr. Rogers, and just it seems like it's all the same thing. But no, they're definitely different things. Um, I don't think our kids watched Sesame Street. I think, I mean, I did. Um, so <laughs> wrong generation. Mm, or right generation. Mr. Yeah. Rogers is timeless, babies. He is timeless. <clears throat> I think you did a, uh, we did a Jen and a Jammies on Mr. Rogers once. Um, should dust that one off. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, what else do you want to say about weapons of mass deception? Okay. Um, so you can tell how intense this, how important this set of tabs is by how shitty I feel when I wake up. When I wake up and I feel like there's something stabbing me in the eye, that's really cool because after we do these tabs, it will disappear and there's nothing wrong. Mm. And, and another thing is like when we're sitting there getting ready for breakfast and I start bursting into convulsive sobs for no reason, you know that I'm releasing for humanity. Mm. Uh for those that do watch the daily rejuvenation and participate with us every day, you would have noticed that a couple of days ago <laughs> we were recording an episode and you had a full on sort of mm, weepy eye thing going on. Yeah, it's just, it's literally, it feels literally being stabbed in the eye. It's the most painful thing. And it's hysterical because it clears up right afterwards until this morning when we record again. So, yeah. All right. Um, just before we do get into the tapping part of this daily rejuvenation episode, I should sort of showcase a couple of things. Um, we have the Jump Start Your Shadow Work uh, event in about 24 hours from now. Uh, that's a paid event, so you will need to register for that one. Um, you've got about 24 hours. Uh, time is limited, so uh, it's going to be a powerful, powerful session. Um, for those that participated in last week's uh, event that we were hosting, um, the Akashic Record Reading event, it was profound, profound, profound. It was I I have not seen so, such depth and powerful work um, in one live group healing session as as was experienced in that. For those that did experience it, so it was huge. And here's the thing. This is what I'm experiencing right now in energy is there's people out there who are getting diagnoses for the first time and they're devastated and they're praying and they're like just lost in that diagnosis. This is what the shadow work is for. This is what this work is for. You're not alone in this and it doesn't have to be a life and death drama or scenario. It can just be matter of fact dealing with the issues and peeling, peeling them away one by one. So if anybody out there is listening to this and they feel like they're alone in the universe, I do hear you. Hmm. You do. Um, all right, so we've got the Jumpstart Your Shadow Work uh, event. In about 24 hours, you really do have, there's a limited amount of time to register for that. Um, so do that, please. And then we have a number of other live stream events. Uh, two that I can feature really quickly is on uh, Halloween, the American Halloween. So 3 p.m. October the 31st, we're going to be doing a group tapping events to release the stagnant energy and other things of ghosts, goblins, and ghouls. <laughs> Anything yeah. you want to say about that one? Absolutely. So in the things that we're afraid of, in this lifetime are things that happen to us in past lifetimes. So what we're going to do is be pulling out all those scary things that people don't think about because they don't acknowledge your past lives, being buried alive, being being drained of your blood, being, being um, grabbed in the dark, being murdered. All these things 
our, our juicy kind of little tidbits to, that zap our energy of this lifetime. So we're going to do it in a fun, cute kind of Halloween way, but we're going to like really be getting rid of horrendous things. Yeah, so it might be fun and cute on the outside, but it's serious work that we're doing. Uh, everything that we do is serious. So there's that. And then uh, the event after that is November the 3rd, 3 p.m. New York time. It is on the portal of your birthday, Jen. We are going to be doing a whole bunch of tapping. It's it's entitled um, uh, A Portal for World Peace. Right. But, but the tapping that we're going to be doing is is inner tapping, but can you help us draw the nexus between peace within and world peace? So it's it's so it's so obvious to me, it's so frustrating that I even have to say this. For so my portal, uh, a portal is a portal day to your empowerment. So that's why we're using my birthday. And it was so easy to write these tasks, it was like that. A hundred negative self-talks that I've had through the years, which I'm sure everyone has dealt with. So mm -hmm. we're just going to like peel those off. And every one of those self-talks that says, I'm not good enough, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm unworthy, all these things are a separation from your inner peace. Now, when you're separated from your inner peace, that's a separation from world peace. Because these wars, these dramas that happen in the world, they're not done with by people who are happy with themselves. They're done mm -hmm. by people who are so miserable that they lash out. So the more that we do the work on ourselves and we do it as a surrogate for others, the more we ease that propensity to lash out and destroy and devastate others. Yes, uh, makes perfect sense. Um, for those that are on the live stream and are commenting, um, hi, good to see you. Um, all right. Um, and again, thank you for everyone that's in our studio. Um, really appreciate you being here with us. All right. Should we get into the tapping component of this live stream? So um, the title again is Weapons of Mass Deception. Yes. Would you and like so, me to explain to the listener how this tapping thing works? Yes, but I want you to do it with vivaciousness. <laughs> With gusto, it's not as if I've been, well, I've done this a few times now. All right, mm -hmm. so the way this works, Jen, you are going to provide a series of SFT taps. These are powerful statements to the universe. I will be repeating them on behalf of everyone in the studio, everyone that's watching on the live stream, and everyone that's going to watch this after the fact. You're going to tap along with me. We're going to repeat these statements three times while continuously tapping on the top of the head, a fourth time while continuously tapping on the chest, and a fifth time while continuously tapping on the abdomen. Yes. You ready, sir? I am ready indeed. Okay. We release being hired back into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hard baked into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hard baked into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hard baked into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hard baked into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hard baked into buying weapons of mass deception in all moments. I do want to say something else about these. Anything we believe religiously, politically, in um, in our self societal roles are most likely weapons of mass deception. They started out as belief systems subtly and they grew into this thing that's bigger than us and then we just are hardwired to them. Hmm. Okay. We were at least being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in our moments. We were at least being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being hardwired into believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception 
in our minds. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being caught up in the artillery of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in our moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in our moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We close all portals to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly disarm all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being trapped in ignorance by weapons of mass deception in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are immediately recalled in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in our moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in all moments. All weapons of mass deception are now forever banned in all moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in our moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in all moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in all moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in all moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in all moments. We shatter all glass ceilings that weapons of mass deception have put on us in all moments. We eliminate the first cause of believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause of believing weapons of mass de deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause of believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause of believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. 
we eliminate the first cause of believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We immediately and thoroughly thwart the arms race of weapons of mass deception in all moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle weapons of mass deception in our moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle metals, weapons of mass distra- deception <laughs> in all, <laughs> in all yeah. moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle weapons of mass deception in all moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle met- weapons of mass deception in all moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle weapons of mass deception in all moments. We hold all those responsible who peddle weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse all house of cards built on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth. In our moments, we sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth in all moments. We sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth in all moments. We sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth in all moments. We sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth in all moments. We sift through the rubble created by weapons of mass deception to find truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We rebuild a foundation built on sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. We resonate, emanate, and are interconnected with all life in sincerity, integrity, compassion, and truth in all moments. 
Take a deep breath. It's really good. I want to give people this suggestion. When they find themselves vulnerable and just feel really sad, instead of reacting to it or finding a reason or finding someone to blame for it, just simply understand that the state of the situation for billions of people, at least millions of people, is very sad. And for you to feel that is not something to attack and, and to like punch your way out of a um, cardboard box about. It's about just staying present in the moment. Feel that sadness. Because there's somewhere on the other end of that sadness. There's someone out there who needs that validation. And so what? If that's as little as you can do is to give them that validation and to cry with them in the moment. Mm. Do it. Is that what's going on with you? Because <laughs> I saw you <laughs> starting to. Yeah. Absolutely. It's There's people huddled in dark little corners on the other side of the world, just not knowing if they're going to live or die, and their whole life is shattered. Of mm. course I'm crying. I'm surprised everyone is crying right now. And the good thing is that uh, one of the very practical and tangible <laughs> things that you can <laughs> that you can Hi. do is do the SFT tapping, um, deal with these issues in energy. Um, that's about the only level at which these issues can meaningfully be addressed. And for those that that think that this is all foo foo and all nonsense, um, try and solve it. You know, in the physical realms. Good luck with that, because you know. We've been working at this for thousands and thousands of years. So this is about the only way you're really going to address it. So just do it. Simples. Here's my, re simples. Here's my <laughs> response to people who think what I do is crazy. If you look around the world and you see the corruption, the, the mass lack of compassion and the horrendous things people I do destroy a whole whole um, communities, that's not sane. If this is our resolve, then then it's <laughs> it's something special. It's not something to mock. I would be looking out there and seeing why you're in denial about your own feelings and your own connection to what's happening in the world. That's what needs to be challenged. Hmm. All right. Um, thanks for that. Uh, very powerful words. I hope it resonates with a lot of people. Um, does anyone on in the studio want to jump off mute and uh, reflect with us? I thought those taps. There's something poetic in the way, the way that you are weaving in the original notion of weapons of mass destruction into the concept of weapons of mass deception. So. So the imagery and, and the poetics of the, the words and the taps were pretty profound. Um, that's kind of yeah. part of your, your magic and secret source is to, to do that. Um, well, yeah. it, so the thing is, I'm literally, and I don't know how to use literally, backtracking. It's almost like if you're doing, if something is tangled, humanity is tangled, sometimes you have to pull the thread out the way it came in. And so by using... The wording that way I do, I'm pulling humanity out of the knot it's gotten itself into to untangle. Hmm. Is that too obscure? <laughs> no. One of the things that I've realized more recently is that um, a lot of people really do connect at the at a level that is beyond the mental level, which is why a lot of your poems, Jen, we've on a number of these daily rejuvenations we've been featuring uh the idea of poetics and poetry and the power of poetry to connect with your higher self so um yes the in a lot of ways the more intangible we are talking about these things and addressing them probably the more uh practical mm. well so something's happening in the um tabs i'm writing for the so these need to be written every 
every day of taps needs to be written and they're very thoughtful. Each set is very thoughtful. And so what we're doing in the future, we haven't done it yet, is I'll be writing one of my original poems and be using um, what, that, what that hits in the psyche of the individual and doing taps on that feeling or that sensation. So it targets wow. it on different levels. Goodness me. So in the Genuine Poetry for Life book, which, by the way, if you haven't already got your copy, you should really get it. Uh, it's pretty profound. Um, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of poems in there. There's about 150 poems in there. So I like the idea of taking one poem at a time per episode and then building a series of taps around the sentiment expressed in that poem. Wow, that's a great idea. Yeah, and there's also this um, there's this rhythm with the universe that a poem creates. So, so hmm. the poems are in this syntax that aligns with nature and the universe at large. So they're, they're powerful without even tapping on it. Hmm. All right. Um, last opportunity. Anyone in our studio? Hi again. Uh, anyone in our studio, would you like to add anything or are you all good, all silent, all done? I, um, I wish that people would learn to step up and and communicate, not just on this group thing. I, I'm grateful you're here, but it's teaching humanity to step up into their own empowerment. So just sitting on the sidelines and letting Jen and Marvin do it is one thing, but when you feel the empowerment of voicing what you're feeling, mm. it's enabling, as a surrogate, a whole demographic of humanity to feel that as well and to get their courage to step up. Hmm. Well, look, here's the thing. We're going to be doing these uh, daily rejuvenation live streams for as long as we can every week, Friday, 3 p.m. New York time. So there's plenty of opportunity for those in the studio <laughs> to come and join yeah. us and um, share with us. Uh, you don't have to don't feel pressure to do it right now, but the more that you can sort of share with us, the better because, you know, we are a community of, connected souls so um what better way than to um, share and yes we understand it is a live stream it is somewhat daunting but that's part of expressing yourself is part of stepping up to the plate so yeah there's yeah. that use that technique if you will of going to a festival remember i mean these days there's a drudgery in doing anything because there's so much intensity. But but go into your memory banks of a time you were looking forward to going to an event and it was going to be joyful. For some of you, you'll have to go back a lifetime or two. But tap into that feeling of wanting to connect with others and then use that feeling to get here in the genuine community. Because this is what we're doing. We're enlivening the joy, love, abundance, freedom, health, success, and empowerment and confidence of connecting as if it was a joyful party or festival. Am mm. I saying that right? Just fine. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for um, those in the studio with us. Thanks for those that are watching on live with us um, it is always nice to have people join us live with us but and but anyway um you can get to watch this after the fact as well that's another uh, good way of doing it thanks jen for providing the taps look forward to catching you all next time and bye for now